Now, this is the uh, mare approbation. She goes around in race number one, the turquoise handicap, and Casey Tan will take the ride and is uh, coming off some very moderate form, was well beaten at Penang last start. Form last preparation was OK. The mare looking to return to some sort of form. She's won four from 48 overall, and that is approbation, and it draws barrier three in the opening race. Now these are the two stable mates uh, working in tandem. Chinese Street is on the inside of Mr. Dreyfus and uh, Chinese Street coming off some very good form placed in uh, two starts from its last three runs and was most recent runner up there in Penang over 1400 metres. That's the 13 year old Chinese Street and uh, Mr. Dreyfus has got a very good chance later on in the day as well coming off that last start second. Chinese Street and Mr. Dreyfus working together. Chinese Street goes around in race one. Now the five-year-old mare, former Singapore galloper, is Miss Streisand, goes around in the Opal Handicap. That's race number two. Only the one win from 22 starts has trialled OK recently, Miss Streisand. Casey Wong will take the ride and uh, draws barrier three. So that's Miss Streisand. It will be resuming. Hasn't had a start since uh, September last year. Now, Ultra Hero is coming off a last start win. This was last uh, Sunday when he was able to lead all the, all the way over 1,200 metres, defeating Mr. Dreyfus. And Jay D'Souza rode the horse to victory on this occasion. And Josie will ride Ultra Hero again there on Saturday. Let's have a look at that winning performance. The leader, but now Mr. Dreyfus is cutting down the margin inside the 150. Mr. Dreyfus goes after Ultra Hero. It's Ultra Hero fighting back inside of Mr. Dreyfus. Then, my goodness, Ultra Hero responding well, though, is hanging on, and Ultra Hero goes on to win by a length to Mr. Dreyfus. Third, my goodness. Then Rangatai. Tong Ziaching goes around in race number three. That is the Jade Handicap. Tong Ziaching was uh, unplaced behind a Super Dragon last start. Has been freshened up, has been off the scene for about two months. And the eight-year-old mare has won five from 65 starts overall. And Apprentice S. Hafiz will take the ride and draws gate 11. That's Tong Ziaching who goes around in race three. Now we've got uh, the two two-year-olds from the KL Chong Yard. They're both going around in the Blue Topaz Stakes, the Restricted Maiden. The horse on the outside is Platinum Life, a two-year-old gilding by Mint Lane. And CK Tan will take the ride out of Barrier 2. And the other horse is Who's the Boss? It's on the inside. And Who's the Boss is a two-year-old gilding by Fiorente and will be ridden by Jay Daniel. Comes out of Barrier 4. Platinum Life and Who's the Boss? Both going around in the fourth race of the day. This is the three-year-old filly and uh, Screaming Amiga. Of course, had the uh, one run there in uh, Penang recently and uh, not a bad effort either. Ran third to Luke Mann, was uh, in the market, uh, had trialled well leading up to that uh, leading up to that race and uh, looks a very good chance there in the restricted maiden on Saturday. Race four, the Blue Topaz Stakes and Jay D'Souza takes the ride on Screaming Amiga, comes out of barrier three. Now, I King finally broke through their last start. Uh, we'll have a look at that replay. That was from last Sunday and it was a comprehensive winner by five lengths defeating Grand Show. Uh, Reuven retains the ride. And he goes around in race four this weekend, I King. Up and they were followed by Like a Jet. I King quickly shrugged off that challenge and broke away from Grand Show. And then D Great Talent and I King. Ah, uh, Reuven home here in race seven. I King goes on to win comfortably. Grand Show second, D Great Talent third. And fourth is Like a Jet. Then right timing, Halo Inspire. Now the five-year-old mare, former Singapore galloper, is Miss Streisand, goes around in the Opal Handicap. That's race number two. Only the one win from 22 starts has trialled OK recently, Miss Streisand. Casey Wong will take the ride and uh, draws barrier three. 
So that's Miss Streisand. It will be resuming. Hasn't had a start since September last year. OD Star was looking quite sharp there on Tuesday morning, coming off a recent win here back on the 13th of January over the 1800 metres. Steps, steps out over the 1800 metres again this weekend in the a gate handicap. Is coming off a last start fourth in Penang over 1700 metres. Horse is racing in very good form, holding form, and it looks a very good chance there in race seven. Fermanyap has got the ride. That's OD Star. Now, Luck Dragon is coming off a freshen up. We'll be going around in race seven as well. Has one of the 1,800 metres in the past, has Luck Dragon, and he's coming off a last start second. So, freshened up for this weekend's outing. Luck Dragon will be ridden by I. Ferdsriel, the apprentice, and draws gate 11. That is Luck Dragon. Now the three-year-old Napoleon is coming off a last start win. In fact, it happened last Saturday when he defeated Racing Man in a photo over 1,600 metres. As we have a look at that performance now by Napoleon, he goes around in race seven. Runner, and the three-year-old is coming home like a Bondi tram along the inside. Napoleon's after Racing Man. They're wide apart. Racing Man, Napoleon. Now on the inside, Napoleon fights back with Racing Man. Maybe Napoleon. It's a close go. Maybe Napoleon from Racing Man. We'll leave that one to the judge. Close go for third as well with Jack Wynn. The stable mates together. Charlie came along, is on the outside of Prince Islander. Charlie came along, goes around in a race number eight. And of course, he can be a little bit hit and miss at the start, this uh, horse, but has been racing in very good form by the same token. Was a winner there at Penang in December and is coming off a fast finishing fourth at the same track on the uh, over 1,400 metres, also in Penang. Uh, Zed Carril's got the ride on. Charlie came along, goes around in the Tiger's Eye Handicap. Magical 10 will be going around for the new stable there in race 9, the Sapphire Handicap, and uh, coming off some uh, recent to good form, and uh, was coming off a last start fifth to a Dark Express there at Penang over the 1,100 metres. Uh, the seven-year-old mare always around the mark, uh, usually races on the speed. Casey Tum will take the ride, has well drawn on pole position. That is Magical 10 and goes around in race 9. And this is Miss Blanchett who will be going around in the Diamond Handicap. Race number 10 draws barrier one. P. Mogan has got the ride and is coming off a last start fourth in Penang over 1,200 metres. That is Miss Blanchett. Now bailouts coming off a last start win. Uh, this occurred last Saturday and uh, the race was over 1,000 metres. Uh, Reuven will take the ride on bailout, goes around in the Diamond Handicap, race 10. They were clear of special luck and also Hacker. Bailout refusing to shirk the task. He's coming back at Sand Lane and also Fox Treasure. It's a three-way go to the line. Bailout now joined by Sand Lane. Sand Lane is lifting. Bailout hangs on though. Bailout. Bailout from Sand Lane and Fox Treasure. Close up in fourth placing then was special luck, followed by... And We Are The World was heavily supported in winning last week, was able to lead all of the way, defeating Band to see over 1,200 metres last Sunday. TM1 retains the ride. He goes around in race 10. We Are The World. An empire. We Are The World is shrugging off Band to see. It's We Are The World, still about a length and a half in front of Band to see. And down the outside, it's Multi Blue Tosca. But Wong Tech Moon aboard We Are The World takes out the last. We Are The World has defeated Band to see and Multi Blue Tosca. Fourth over Bazinga, they were followed by Empire Bay, Golden Empire, then Classic King Superb 7, 